Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, this is the mission we started last time. And I am starting my burn entirely, entirely too late. Uh, and hopefully it's going to get us to the moon. Um, I have exactly five minutes of burn time in this and exactly five minutes of fuel budgeted for it. What I have though is a six minute and 42 second burn time. That was quite unexpected. But we do not have a contract for a lunar order. We do have one for impact and flyby, which we've done many times before, somewhat accidentally. But I'm also certain that this little guy could be piloted to impact the moon, provided that this stage will not have enough to make the transfer. Uh, what I'm going to do to try to alleviate some of that is just stand on the hydrazine the entire length. It's not going to buy us. Oh man, that already went down from 7 minutes to 5. I did not think I had been talking out long, but maybe I am mistaken. I, maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Because, man, if we can. 3 minutes 44 left on this. And 4 minutes 41. Almost a minute shy. I don't think busting through all this hydrogen is quite going to make up for that. I forgot to readjust it after the size of the tank. Good for me. Good for me. But we, uh, we shall see. And ironically enough, the only reason we have connection to do this burn is because of the satellites. These little guys that we failed to get to the moon in previous uh, episodes were orbiting high enough to act as a relay for us. So, some good has come from that disastrous little bit of nonsense. Uh, I was a little late on my note, also. It's probably going to have some serious adverse effects as far as us being able to get there in time. down. Totally missing. Awesome. Alright, well, there's lots of fuel left in the tank. That's cool. Alright, so let's wait for KSP to stop hiccuping all over us and give ourselves a little breathing room and plot ourselves a course correction. Alright. I guess let's just plot it for intercept. Intercept. 
So at the very least, our transfer stage will smack into the moon. Ah, come on. Dang it. Don't want it to be quite that extreme. There we go. 3.1 meters per second. Just go ahead and ease on out to the node a little faster. Okay, well, not nah, dang it. Realign. I'm just going to do this with RCS. I hope. Did I leave enough? All right, readjust. Maybe chasing it a little. See where we're at. That's an impact. Excellent. Man, there's actually some fuel left in here. We might be able to use that to start uh, an orbital insertion, although that is totally not our contract. We've got this to do an orbital insertion. So I guess we're just going to let it smash into the moon. We've got our top battery locked just to make sure that we can, and I should probably just go unlock it because I don't know if we're going to have connection without it or not. I uh, sure would be nice if I could click on stuff. Shit uh, will not let me do. That's new and interesting. Click on the antenna so it's not the device itself. All right, well, let's worry about that when we get there. Who cares? Avionics will lock on our way out there. So we're actually seeing a net zero on our battery charge. That is awesome. And we're going to get the science data from around the moon, something we've never been able to do before because our batteries kept dying. This will be the first alive spacecraft to ever encounter the moon. What do we got? Why are we throttling back? Basic construction has finished. That's awesome also. And we still have active contact. I guess we should just go ahead and plot this maneuver to not slam into the moon so completely. Let's, yeah, just take it to right about there. So yes, stability control. 27 meters per second. Don't have a whole lot of this hydrazine left, so we're going to try to bounce the engine a little bit. it off just a bit get that periapsis down to where this bottom stage just scrapes the surface and we'll probably pile into it yeah just like that all right now then let me unlock this hydrazine tank let me unlock 
Check this battery. Perfect. No, nope, not you. Decouple. Perfect. Turn our RCS back on and bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. We just want to get this periapsis to a place where we're probably not going to slam into the surface. Yeah, 60. That seems good. Deactivate RCS. Oh, science data from space around the moon. Yay! Micrometeorite, temperature scan, Geiger counter, atmo pressure, gravity scan. I get telemetry? Don't know if I did. Does that run it? I don't know how to add things to it, but so other spacecraft will yes yeah, slam into the moon. We should probably be paying attention to that when it, that time happens. In the meantime, we can get a really positive orbital burn. Let's widen that out because we're going to want to get a little higher than that. Six sixty-two. How much delta V we got? 554. Not quite enough. But alright then. And that is in 17 hours. And what is our time to periapsis? 17 hours 39. Time to periapsis? 17 hours 40. So they're about a minute apart. Oops, wrong button. So let's just ride this little guy home get our contract. <laughs> With about a minute to spare. Oh man, I didn't even check to see if we were going to have connection. On the other side of the moon there. I uh, maybe. Uh oh. That would be terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, yeah, that's my flight path. This is the blue line now. <laughs> Very absence of 501 meters. That would be brilliant if it missed. If it just slid so low. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. So are there going to be any terrain features that we're going to hit? Two minutes. Oh man. <laughs> no connection to analyze telemetry. That's not a good sign. Oh yeah, here comes the hill. Sorry man. I'm still a minute 41 away. That's gonna do it. Thank you. Contracts complete. Close. We gotta get out. We gotta find this little guy. Can I not switch to it? Shit. Space Center. Crap. <laughs> Gotta do this fast or we're gonna miss our window. Okay, tracking station. Quick, quick, quick. RA8C, fly. No connection. Time to node, two minutes. We're totally not gonna do this. Will Mechjeb do it? Uh, maneuver planner. 
execute next node. I can't even turn the engine on though. Uh, I should have done all this before. Shit. This is not going to go very well because the RCS isn't turned on. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Onboard node execution. Yeah, we might be doing this a little late. We're just going to have to wait for it to reacquire. Ah, yes! Connection established. Turn on RCS. RCS on. Turn on stability control. Activate engine. Assign some data from space near. Throttle that bad boy up. Micrometeorite, you can go away, make job. Temp scan, Geiger counter, atmospheric pressure while near. Moon's lowlands. Wow, okay. Rotating two axes between camera and spacecraft rotation. Alright, you can go away, Mechjev window. I guess this is a perfectly tolerable height, so let's just go ahead and let this engine burn out entirely. And farm some science. Four million? It's not bad. Really? Uh, it's going to run out of fuel before we fill that. Yeah, we're about to run out. Seven seconds left on this burn. Right, yeah, we do still have a net power loss. All right. Engine's empty. Throttle out. Turn that out. We no longer need our avionics to run. Shut those down. Leaves us at a net zero for our electric charge. Awesome. That means this little guy can stay here indefinitely. And yeah, we got all this. So let's just farm a little if we can. Lowlands, lowlands, lowlands. Looking for any others. Midlands. Damn it. Missed it. God damn it. <laughs> Midlands. Bingo. Not biome specific. There we go. Midland science. Midland science. Not biome. Gravity scan. Oh, I keep forgetting we're not getting telemetry, are we? There it is. Back to the lowlands again. Back to the Midlands and the Lowlands, the Midlands, the Lowlands. <laughs> Watch me miss a very important biome. Lunar Seas. That's a big one. And we're still in low space. That's awesome. Transmit, transmit, reset, transmit. I cannot believe I forgot to add the telemetry to this. Kind of dumb. Transmit. All right. Oh, that's pretty. Venus. Awesome. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it feels really good to actually have succeeded in the mission and to do all the things that I intended to do from the word go, but to only get paid for half of them. We did not make our lunar orbit contract because we didn't have one and we missed it and they didn't offer it in time for this launch that I just really wanted to get done because I know I can do it. I promise you I'm not that stupid. Anyway, uh, that's going to call it for this one. Thanks for hanging out and seeing a successful flight for a change. I do appreciate it. Uh, so anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.